Hi everyone, my name is Noah and welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to be filming something that has been really, really highly requested and it's an updated version of my how I edit my Instagram pictures video. I filmed one of those about a year ago, so if you haven't watched it, you can definitely go and check it out. I'll be putting the link in the description box down below. But I think people have been asking me to film an updated one a lot because my aesthetic has changed a lot in the past year and my feed has too. If you're new or you're just not familiar with what it used to be, this is what it used to look like. It was very clean, white, and I think it looks really good, especially for the summer because it was a lot of white around and it was like easier to find places. But during the school year, I definitely struggled to try and take pictures that always would fit my feed. And especially traveling last semester, I had to give up the white feed. So this is what it looks like now. I just recently started uh, this editing that I'm doing. It has a kind of like old, dusty image look that I really like. Now I edit most of my pictures on Adobe Lightroom. If you're not familiar, Adobe Lightroom is part of the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. It's just a bunch of different softwares that you use for photo and video editing. They have like Photoshop, Illustrator, and Design Premiere, like all of those. And Lightroom is really good for editing pictures, lighting, but I also understand that most of my followers won't have access to this because it's a pricey suite and a pricey software in itself. So I thought I would just show you guys how I edit my pictures when I don't have my computer and I have to edit something on my phone. And if you want to see a more in-depth Lightroom uh, editing version, I can definitely film that too. So let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to show you guys what I do on my phone, the different apps I use, and what I do with them to make my pictures look the way they do. <laughs> okay, so for the sake of this video, I'm going to be taking the last picture I posted on my Instagram which is this one that we took in Santa Monica with my friend Chase. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should definitely go do that. You can pause the video and just click the link in the description box. Not that hard. The picture looked great at the beginning, but I also really like the editing that I did on it. So I'm just going to be taking this one to show you guys. So I have the original picture here, and this is what the picture after editing looks like. I honestly like both. It's just that I want to edit it. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did that. So the first thing I would do when I have to edit a picture on my phone is open Visco. You guys probably all know the app Visco. I know it has a lot of different filters and a lot of things to play around. But I just recently started adding filters to my pictures. So I don't really know what looks good or not. They honestly look really cool. Okay, this is not what this video is for. So I don't really play around with filters that much. I would usually just go to skin tone, adjust the skin tone to make it look like more red or more yellow. I think on here it needs to be like a little bit more yellow, like 0.3. And then I would add green to the picture, uh, not that much. I usually go down to like 1.8 or 2.3. And that's basically everything I would do on this app. Then I would just save it. Make sure that you save to camera roll with the actual size so that it doesn't affect the quality of the picture. What? <laughs> Okay, next thing, I would open up Afterlight. Isn't it really cool that all the apps you use more are here? But I would just scroll down and open up the last picture I have, which is the one that I just edited on Visco. And then this app has really cool filters too. The one I used to use when I was like 15 was Russ. This one. But I don't really like it anymore, so I just do my own things on the app. First thing I would do is add dust. To my picture because it usually changes a little bit the lighting so that I can adjust it afterwards. This app has a lot of like different overlays to add dust. I usually go for six or nine because they are the ones that change the colors of the pictures the least in my opinion. For this one I would take number six and then you can like rotate the filter and just like mirror it to make it look the way you like. Uh, this basically just adds dust on me and a little bit on the background uh, at the rate of the picture. So I'll just leave it all the way up because the picture is so light that you can't really see it. And then what I would do is go to settings, shadows, take the shadows halfway up probably. Uh, what this does is blends the blacks together and then I would do the same thing for highlights. So take the highlights down uh, maybe not as much, maybe like 45. This makes it look a lot older and a lot like, I don't know, it just gives a vibe I like. I would maybe add a little bit of temperature to the picture to make it look a little bit more sandy, 
uh, I would just add three. And if I see that there's a color that pops out too much in the blacks or something, I would just go to shadows. I think there's a little bit too much of green, so I'm just gonna cancel out the greens a little bit, like five, and yeah. So that's all I'm gonna do for this picture on this app. And then I'm gonna open up the Instagram app to edit it with the native filters. I think not a lot of people use the filters that are in the Instagram app. So cute. One second. Okay. <laughs> so I would just open up the picture thing. I would open up the last picture that I edited in the afterlight. Uh, it's the right ratio, so I don't have to crop it or anything, but I will usually crop it there. And then I'm gonna add a filter, but I add a filter just a little bit, just so that it transforms the colors a little bit and all my pictures kinda go well together. Uh, so I use add-in on this one. And then what I would do is add brightness up to like nine probably, because the picture was a little dark. But then I'm gonna go to the highlights and take them down. So as you can see, like it doesn't change a lot in the picture, but I just do it. I don't really know if all the things I'm doing cancel each other and really don't change anything and just make me feel like I'm doing stuff, but I still do them anyway, so. And then I would do the same thing for highlights, take them down to that little depth, like nine, but then I go up with fade. I would add a little saturation. As you can see, if I take the saturations up, it's basically just gonna add my skin and you like to look tan. So I'm gonna take that up a little bit, maybe five. And then I would obviously sharpen the picture up to seven. I think the sharpening tool is good, but if you add too much of it, it just looks weird. I usually do that to all my pictures and then I would just adjust one of the other settings to make it look the way I want to. One of the other tools that I think is really useful in the Instagram app is the color app. Basically does what I did with the afterlight to cancel out the green and the black. So you can just add a color to either the shadows or the highlights. And uh, I don't really use it to like make it look completely red, but I would use it to cancel out a color. It's usually green somehow. And yeah, I think that's about it. Now I'm just gonna export it. To export a picture from the Instagram app, you just have to put your phone on flight mode. Be careful because sometimes you put your phone on flight mode and the Wi-Fi is still enabled. So make sure that your Wi-Fi is disabled. <sighs> I can't speak. And then you can just share it and then you just remove it from here so that it doesn't save. So now you have way too many pictures for the same picture. But then you can basically delete your files that you used in the middle. And this is what the before and after picture looks like. It obviously looks maybe a little different from the one I posted just because these settings change and I don't always remember the exact number I put, but I think it looks pretty similar. So yeah, that's the picture I posted and that's the way I edited it. So I hope this tutorial slash how I edit my pictures was helpful to you guys if you wanna have a similar aesthetic or a similar way to edit your pictures. There's a lot more you can do in all those different apps, Visco, Afterlight, and Instagram, but I just started really editing my pictures the way I do, so I'm maybe just still discovering the features and playing around with them, but I would definitely encourage you to download the apps and just do whatever you'd like with your pictures. If you're still looking for the kind of feed you want to go for, uh, I think my biggest advice would be to try not to restrain yourself to something too small and too narrow. Like the white feed looked really cool and I really liked it for a long time, but it's just a lot to handle, a lot to work with. I always had to lighten up some pictures, but if you still wanna go for something like that, definitely do it and you can check out my other how I edit my pictures video. Uh, for more advice on how I did that, I use more apps. I use Snapseed, that's really good for that, but you can just go ahead and click the link in the description box down below. Don't forget to let me know if you would like a more in detail Lightroom tutorial so I can definitely show you guys that how I edit my pictures on the software. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and also follow me on all my social media down below. The links will be in the description box. And I will see you guys next week for a new video. Bye. 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 I look so puffy. This video is going to be so weird. You guys, I just woke up. I don't know why I decided to film this now. But it's okay. It's okay. Bye.